everyone. Uh, this is Nathandra Boudoir, uh, Gerontology 504, uh, Issues with Aging Services Management, and I'm here interviewing Geronimo. He is a good friend of mine, and he is a caregiver for his mother. Welcome, Geronimo. Thank you. Um, first of all, um, how did you become a caregiver for your mother? Um, well, in June of 2011, my mother had a stroke, mm -hmm. and um, she survived, but it left her partially paralyzed mm -hmm. on the left side. She mm -hmm. has no use of one arm, and she has a, a weak leg. Oh, wow. Okay. So her life changed dramatically mm -hmm. after her stroke. Yeah. Has she had um, any, um, has it been difficult for her first with the change? Um, at the beginning, she was feeling angry, depressed, I'm mm -hmm. sure all those emotions that deal with loss, mm -hmm. you know, just because it was the loss of her independence, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. She was up to that point very independent. Wow. But um, she's hopeful, and she's got a great attitude. That's good. And how old is your mother? She's 79, and she'll be 80 in October. That's right, because our birthdays are in the same month. We're yeah. Like kindred spirit of spirits. Um, so, uh, when she had her stroke, what were, um, how did you feel the services that were provided to her? Do you think the doctors were helpful or patient and understanding or? Well, I mean, in the emergency room, it's chaos. I mean, mm -hmm. you, there's so many mm -hmm. thoughts that are swirling in your head and it's not until like afterwards, you're like, oh, okay, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, she's under, she's, she has Medicare, okay. so. The doctors yes, see her in a certain box, right. and they will only treat certain things. So, mm -hmm. um, like Medicare only allowed her three days in the hospital, and they gave her the boot to go to a skilled nursing facility because they won't cover beyond the three days. Wow. And how did you feel about how was her her treatment and her services at the skilled nursing facility? I thought it was great, but the only reason I did is because I went there every day. Mm -hmm. And I really do believe if I wasn't there every day, uh, her um, treatment, her service would be totally different. Cause take no people, take no one out. Because I would notice yeah, people yeah. who never got visitors, or right. rarely, or just on weekends, right. they weren't given as much attention. Right, right. Okay. Unfortunately. Yeah. Now, um, after her stroke in a skilled nursing facility and you brought her back home, how was that for you? Uh, well, the, the people at the skilled nursing facility, especially the uh, physical therapists, were very helpful. Mm -hmm. Even though Medicare did not cover them coming home to my place to kind of see what challenges there are, what improvements, mm -hmm. they came like on their own time. Oh, that was because nice. they liked my mother so much because she's she's adorable. <laughs> she's she is cute. she is just adorable. I wish you guys could meet her, but she's adorable. Yeah, so they kind of fell in love with her, and she was there for two and a half months, so wow. they really got to know her. Oh. And um, so they felt um, they wanted to come, and mm -hmm. they gave me pointers on, oh, this rug has to go, because it's a trip hazard, mm -hmm. or she needs a bath bench and a mm -hmm. tub, and mm -hmm. things like that. And it was, it was tough, because I was scared, because I kept, they, I, the, a fall was the last thing that she needed. Yeah, yeah, she needed, yeah. And so, um, so is it just you and your mom, or do you have any other family members that could help you out? Um, no, yeah, it's just us, mm -hmm. because we have the relatives either on the East Coast or in the Philippines, mm -hmm. and so it's really just us. But luckily, I live in a building where there's neighbors who just keep an eye out on each other and listen if she, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm fortunate that way. Wow, that's great. Um, one of the other things I wanted to ask you is, um, based off your mom's services that she was provided, how do you feel as you age? What would be some of your main concerns about getting, you know, great, you know, good medical service, or uh, as as you as relating to aging? Well, I mean, I don't want to go into a whole critique of Medicare, but oh no. no, no. <laughs> It was just a roundabout, you know, what you think no, about your own yeah, personal yeah. self aging. Yeah, I mean, I would love to see. Well, from from what I experienced with my mother, is she she just was in a Medicare box. Let's mm -hmm. say that's how they, and they would only charge certain 
uh, you know, take care of certain things, mm -hmm. or they would charge an exorbitant amount for certain things which he didn't need, but because Medicare covered it, they charged. They yeah, that it was a profit motive mm -hmm. as opposed to like a results care. help motive. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, that's the system we have. So. Right. Um, how do you feel about universal health care? I think it's great. I mean, every other industrialized nation has it, mm -hmm. and I think it helps the economy instead of, because it's hard when you go from job to job and you're always worried about health care when right. you could be concerned about being the best worker right. or right. In, like finding the best opportunity for you. Right. And I work part-time, and unfortunately my job doesn't offer health insurance. Yes. So does not offer health I'm I'm going to be looking at Cover California, the website, because I know that um, I have to sign up before the end of March. Right. Right. So. Wow. Um, anything that you can think of that you feel that could help um, um, all of us as we age? Anything that you, you think far as going in the future that would be beneficial to all of us as we age? Um, I mean, more education about healthy living. I mean, mm -hmm. you, talk, you hear stories about we're the fattest nation, we mm -hmm. you know, drink the most, take the most drugs, mm -hmm. um, we have drug abuse issues. And, mm -hmm. and I just ate a whole bag of Oreo cookies, <laughs> so I'm, I'm totally guilty. So, yeah. <laughs> read those labels on the back. Yum. They're <laughs> big for a reason. <laughs> and serving size. I mean, I, I went to a restaurant yesterday and you know, the size right. they give you. It's a, yeah. You think that's a single size, but it's, that's like, it's like two or three meals yeah, in like Europe. Four people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we don't even think about it. Yeah. Because I think, yeah, we're just um, an unhealthy nation generally. Right. We should right. be more active and promote that for kids all the way up to being a senior. Because after a certain age, they don't even really expect you, they don't want, there is yeah. no pressure to work out. Yeah, or, there isn't. In this country, it's all about music. working and and working, right. just working, work, 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 work to your job. Working and yeah. and that's unhealthy. Yeah, so. very true. Well, Geronimo, I want to thank you so much for taking time out um, to help me with this little uh, video that I put together, and 